What's up? This is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 17 modding video. And today we'll be changing the colors of all the tow trucks and we'll be adding the Square2448 logo to them for the Heavy Rescue Company. So we will be first starting off with the Rotator, which is the largest truck in the fleet. And I did change a few things. I changed the logos already to HR 2448 and then for the logo I decided we'll do this until we could get something really fancy but it's square 2448 heavy rescue with youtube.com slash square 2448 so we do have some pretty cool things logo up there so next we kind of need to change the colors of this truck and we will be changing the colors of a rollback a semi truck everything like that so a lot of things will be changing which is going to be nice so I think we'll change this body and we'll go over here to red we'll change that one and we'll just kind of go through this truck change everything that needs to be changed because we need this to match all of the other ones making it very realistic so we got that done and that already looks a lot better having it matching red so let's take a look that centerpiece kind of is not wanting to change which is fine but let's kind of select this boom looks like we have this selected and we'll take a look and I think that changing this also will be very professional like I was saying and going to be pretty nice so we got everything done over here we'll keep the hydraulics black I think that kind of stands out just a little but we do need to fix the logo make it a little bit smaller let's take a look at which one that is awesome so it is this one so I'll do one point three move it up a little and we will actually kind of shrink this to 1.3 i think that that would look a lot better yes that does so we'll do that to the other side so we'll do uh three and then 1.3 definitely kind of fits a little bit better and goes along with it so next we need to do these stabilizers here so we'll kind of select around looks to be this right here and let's take a look at this so I would like to kind of change this color instead of having it red matching the truck I think we'll do it this color it is black so that might actually let's take a look yeah I think that might stand out a little bit better that does so now we oh we actually have to change this color so we'll go here to support we'll change this to red so we got that looking really nice now that's awesome so now we need to select the whole rest of the truck We'll select this and change this color. So there's a lot of things that new do need to be changed, but some of this stuff is not changing exactly. So let's take a look. So is there multiple different colors? There is, guys. So I will kind of have to go through this one, see which one exactly is it to change everything, but that exactly wasn't the one. So we have to go back. So I will definitely work on that, change that center one, but we'll now go to the cab here. And for these logos, there's supposed to be an invisible section of it. But for when I do that, it kind of doesn't want to do that. But look at that, guys. We got all this done. So this wrecker is done. This one's looking really nice. And the logos do not have the same background. But we are going to have to kind of go along with this until uh, I kind of figure out exactly why there's black showing up behind the logo. But we'll save this. And we'll now move on to the... Uh, Silverado pickup truck which has a very large arrow in the back this one is going to be very helpful for road closures and everything like that so we'll select this truck and we'll get right to this because we have a lot of other trucks we have to customize also so we want to come over here and select red so I think other than this there might be just that frame so let's kind of see exactly where that frame is and it looks like it is this one so hopefully it's this one right here nope and let's take a look we definitely want it to kind of match this truck and i think that this will definitely be an awesome feature but look at that guys we got this one done and always a pretty good tip when you are in giants editor and you do save a vehicle make sure the camera is behind it definitely going to be helpful so up next we are going to be taking a look at the semi truck which we will be using we'll select this and we'll load up and I already did change the colors you had to actually go through kind of change all these but for now we have this as square 2448 heavy rescue and we'll actually be doing a pretty cool video setting this one up so we actually won't save this one and I do apologize a few of these I did have to work on but next we have the T800 wrecker the Kenworth which we've been using and I did change the uh, 
logos we changed the logos to this one and the color isn't exactly showing correctly so we'll have to work on that but I would like to remove some of these logos that's on here so we'll kind of select through here and kind of see exactly where the logos are there is yes so it looks like it's one of these let's take a look here it is so it's inside here and let's take a look I do not want those so looks like we could have the door ones the DOT we could have we definitely do not need that one so we'll delete both of those next up we do not need any stars we'll be deleting those trying to just have a very nice clean looking truck if you would say that way we don't have too much of them what are these let's take a look really fast yeah we don't need those stars we'll delete those and these are pretty cool for styling but I think we'll be fine so the next thing to do is that logo down there so let's take a look we do not want to kind of have that one awesome so it looks like it's the web URL right there and let's take a look we do not need the air cushion and I we think we'll leave everything else awesome so we'll come back here we'll save this truck and then we'll go on to the Kenworth rollback truck and this is the stronger rollback truck since we are heavy rescue it's mainly larger trucks and everything like that so I decided we'll go with the strongest tow trucks we have in farm sim so here it is and I think the only thing we kind of have to do like I was saying is to change the cab and there's a lot of things we will be losing but I think for now I'll just kind of change it to match it for when we do do the video of setting up the shop and like I was saying if any of you do know how to kind of fix this have the logo see through kind of match the color let me know but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video changing the truck colors thanks for watching and subscribe for more